Hello, uh, this is um, my very first um, series on using S&P Capital IQ. Um, obviously, this is an, an alternative um, financial database which a lot of academics use to mine data. Okay, so um, I'm going to be assuming a lot of um, information in this um, video just to kind of like uh, to keep it brief. Uh, so today I will be demoing how to download, you know, basic financial information from S&P Capital IQ. Okay, uh, so I'll be using the pro version, but of course there is the basic version as well, uh, which can do um, the job uh, equally. Okay, so um, I would assume that uh, you already have access to the um, the plugin, uh, but if not, um, you can go to the uh, s and I'll just bring that up here. Um, the uh, s and um, website and download the um, the plugin, which you can install on your PC. So um, I use the 64 bit, um, but of course you can also use a smaller version as well. Um, if if that um, is is your preferred option, okay. So um, so to get the um, add-in installed in Excel, uh, so download this and then of course install. Follow the um, the prompts to install, uh, and then you're good to go. Okay, and of course um, don't forget to go into Excel and make sure that um, the the plugin is, is enabled. Okay, so now let's assume that the, the plugin is enabled, and uh, you want to download uh, for this particular demo. I would be downloading. Um, um, say cap um, market capitalization for this um, license so you know um, so in here you can dump your license here you can also use the s p IDs as well um, you know that I, I believe that that equally works um, so but for this demo like I said I'll be using the license okay um, so you can't use the license directly for this particular uh, search so what you need to do is it needs to start with the prefix of um, I underscore and then the ISIN okay so um, I've done that here you can just use the simple concatenate um, option here uh, and then introduce um, I underscore uh, and then your ISIN and then you can just um, you know replicate that formula um, across all of your ISINs right so just wait for that to finish loading um, so I do find that sometimes um, this process downloading data is a bit uh, temperamental on SMP Capital IQ, so you need to be very patient. To save time as well, maybe just something to um, to, to 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 be aware of. Um, so under settings, so typically when you download large data sets, um, with every refresh, the uh, plugin will refresh all of the data you have in the workbook. But if you, and this can take a lot of time. So if you want to um, prevent this from happening and save time as well, so what you can do is under settings, you can go to settings, um, wait for that to load. So essentially we want to set the um, function to only refresh um, selected cells. This would save you a lot of time, you know, like I said earlier. Okay, um, so that is almost loaded and then on the data settings you want to come down here and make sure you select um, so refresh scope you select um, selected cells other options would be you know refresh the whole workbook you know you don't want to do that um, but, you know because that is going to take a lot of your time right okay so um, so, so so we're good with this um, so selected uh, I did that earlier just to save time and then you click OK to go Right, so once that is done, um, so in the um, the column above, you need to put your dates in. Uh, so again, for this demo, I've just selected you know annual data here. Then, the next step is to use the formula builder. Okay, and then set cell. Your identifier is in cell, um, so it's my it's in cell uh, B. So you select this. So select select cell first, and then B one okay and then data item so um, I searched market capitalization earlier but um, if it's not coming up you can just search market market cap market capitalization okay so market cap okay and then um, period single period um, and then for date so you come here uh, so well you have the date selected already 
specified in your Excel so you come here and then pick the dates here okay so it's important as well um, to make sure under advanced settings you select the currency um, this is particularly important um, to make sure that where you have multiple listings uh, you're picking um, the same currency for all of your data sets okay so in this particular demo I will be using USD okay so if you have multiple listings for instance um, if that is the case then of course you want all of them to be converted to USD um, and then magnitude you need standard or you can select unit millions as well so for this particular demo let's pick the one millions okay um, and then I think that for the rest of these ones um, I think we don't really need them so then what you want to do is you add this as a formula very important okay so you add this as a formula okay and then then you specify um, where you want the output to be okay so for this first output I want it to be in my cell um, C2 so of course you see that it's in cell C2 already but if that wasn't the case then you need to just you know um, select cell C2 okay then you click on apply and, and patiently wait for the, the formula to run uh, like I said earlier it's a bit temperamental so you just need to be a little bit patient right okay something happened okay maybe I need to click again uh, apply there you go so pending so it's doing something downloading the data so wait for that to finish and there you go so that's the USD value for this particular icing okay and yeah. okay so I think we can minimize this safely now because we wouldn't need this anymore so what we are going to do now is um, we don't want to follow this particular process over and over again so what we're going to do is we're going to um, format our formula so that we can um, essentially just copy and paste the copy and paste the formula all across the sheet okay so but to do that we need to lock the, the cells okay so for my icing I want it to repeat on the column so I use the um, the and symbol to lock it in and then also for my dates as well I want it to remain horiz um, horizontally so I come to the middle here and then I lock it in and then I hit enter okay um, yeah well, I, uh, apologies for that so it's uh, the dollar sign sorry about that and okay and then hit enter okay, it's a bit temperamental so I just need to be patient for it to, to complete okay right so then that's finished so then you can just draw it down and wait for it to finish okay so once that's finished and then you can refresh so make sure you highlight the source you want to refresh and then you click on the refresh button and wait for it to download okay it's downloading the data And there you go so that is downloaded okay uh, so there are some that are NA so which means that the data is not available for this particular date uh, obviously you can investigate um, further to try and understand why um, now so for each of these other cells so you know you can safely um, just copy the cell across 
um, and then just before it's pending now before it downloads you need to refresh okay um, and then so just double check that's you know of course you see that it's currently referenced um, and then so what you need to do now is just highlight the relevant cells okay and then hit the refresh so it's important you refresh else um, you're not going to get the download done so just refresh and then just patiently wait for it to finish I'll just pause and restart and there you go so this took um, a lot shorter time than the first download okay so there you go so that's the um, USD value of the market capitalization for each of these ISINs okay um, hope you found this useful um, you know so like it share it and uh, thanks for watching